Up next tonight, we head for Cattaraugus County, where the search is on for a mama goat and her two kids. But the problem here goes well beyond a trio of stolen animals. The Southern Tier family that own the goats say that they would have loved to have had a security camera keeping an eye on their animals, but they don't have any access to broadband internet because of where they live. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya takes us to West Valley tonight for the story. On the corner of a quiet street in West Valley stands Cookie. <laughs> Cookie is now the Wilnevitz family's only pet goat. We had to put our, our dog down that we've had for eight years. We got her just after we moved in here. Um, and then we lost another goat and her baby, and then we lost our three. So, I mean, we lost four pets this year alone. Monday afternoon, the family realized they hadn't seen their goat Maple and her three-month-old twin babies all day. We found the tire marks, and then when we went over to the fence, we realized that it was taken you know, unhinged and threw on the ground. The goat's electric fence lay here. In a way, Wolnevitz tells me they could not have escaped themselves. Sometime in the middle of the night after 10 p.m., Somebody just took all three of them, the mom and the babies. It's just sad to me that somebody would rob our daughters from their pets when we have to tell them now, and I don't want to have that conversation with them. Will Nevis has three-year-old twin girls, so when Maple gave birth to twins, it was only fitting. They love the goats. They love the goats so much. They actually named the babies Mickey and Minnie because they love Mickey and Minnie Mouse, so they named the babies after them. So why is there no security footage? Well, Will Nevis says she never expected she'd need cameras, and we don't have any internet available where we live right now in order to send up to set up video cameras or security cameras. A lot of them need that Wi-Fi piece where you can send it to your phone and see what's going on and we just don't have that capability where we live. And to those who stole the goats. Just bring them back. <laughs> just bring them back, put them back. We won't ask questions. Just our daughters love those pets and we love them. That's why we got them. Just put them back so that we don't have to explain to our daughters what happened and to so that they don't realize that there, like I said, that there are bad people in the world who would do something like this. The family is offering a $300 reward for the safe return of the goats. In West Valley, Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.